Hi, I'm John Green. I wrote the books uh, The Fault in Our Stars, which came out as a movie last year, and also Paper Towns, which comes out as a movie on July 24th, 2015. Everyone gets a miracle. My miracle is Margot Ross Spiegelman. I had a friend in high school um, who was absolutely crazy in the most lovable way. And at the same time, I was thinking about the way that like young men uh, often romanticize and, and in the process sort of dehumanize the girls they like and the girls they, they want to be with. Um, and so those two ideas came together for me, I guess, in the form of Margot Roth Spiegelman, this girl who is widely admired in her high school, but also completely misimagined by the students there. Agla, New York uh, was created at the intersection of two dirt roads in the middle of nowhere in the Catskills uh, by these two cartographers who worked for the General Drafting Company. It was never real or anything. And now it's kind of become real again. Like uh, people who like the book have installed a fake historical marker, but it's kind of a real historical marker because it is in the right place. Um, people leave copies of Paper Towns for other people to sign in Agla. Like it's become real again. And now with the movie, it's it's really real again. Like I, I saw it. You know, I, I got to visit it and walk around and it was completely surreal. I wish I had rituals when I was starting to write a new book. I wish I knew when I was starting to write a new book instead of when I was just starting to write something that wasn't going to turn into a book, which is what happens 99% of the time. I usually write in the mornings and I work uh, my other job making crash course videos and other videos in the afternoon. Um, but other than that, I don't have a lot of writing rituals. I do switch out keyboards a lot obsessively. I only listen to the Mountain Goats. Um, yeah, not I mean not just when I'm writing, but also I mean they've written like a thousand songs. There's there's not a huge need to listen to another band. I love the Mountain Goats much more than any other band, but I also listen to other music um, when I'm writing. Like uh, when I was writing The Fall in Our Stars, I listened to a lot of Swedish hip hop. Uh, there was a character in that book who was really interested in Swedish hip hop, and then in the process, I became really interested in Swedish hip hop. Occasionally the title comes first, like An Abundance of Catherines, my second book, the title came first. But most of my books, the title comes at the very, very end. In the case of The Fault in Our Stars, the title came when they had to print a cover for the book. Yeah, I love to read, um, and I, I read, try to read really broadly um, and without judgment or shame. Um, I really love Toni Morris, and I really love Song of Solomon and uh, Sula and Beloved. Um, those are really important books to me and ones that I go back to again and again. And then also uh, Robert Penn Warren's All the King's Men, which to me, for whatever reason, like growing up, it was an important book to me, but it also just sounds like a novel should sound to me. So when I'm struggling with how I want it to sound or, or voice or whatever, I always I always turn to, uh, to that story. John Green, if you could be another color, what would you <laughs> Um, I, you know, I had a really good, there was a really good teacher in my elementary school named Mr. Blue. Um, and that's sort of a more dramatic name anyway. There's lots of people named Green or Brown or White, Gray. Now nah, I'd be Christian Gray, who am I kidding? <laughs>